Well, as I've mentioned in the past, my panoramic roof has been replaced. Uh, this is actually the third roof because the first one leaked, destroyed the headliner. They put on a second one that cracked when they installed it and they put the third one on and now it's the second headliner and the second windshield because that was damaged when they put it in. Now you'll notice that I have this panel off. What I, what I came across the other day was that my uh, tweeter that's on the A pillar, which you can see like that one over there, but the one on the passenger side was not working. And so I have, well, let me get my light here so that I can have at least some hope of showing you. I really should put the stairs up. They're kind of in my way, but anyway. So I took off this end panel. And if you look at, uh, so my, my, my bootleg service manual, uh, if you look at the one that's online, which this is probably the same, this is a uh, uh, key fob detector thingy. That's, that's where it lives, is there. There's one on the other side too. My service manual did not have this clip in it. So mine actually has four clips, whereas the manual says three. So that shows you how fast things were changing at the time. And then there was another piece of trim. Uh, I just have that sitting on the glove box because it's handy. And then there was this piece of trim, which isn't actually held on by anything, but I guess this little thing down here, and it just kind of sets in there. And then there is a seven millimeter screw, which uh, hides behind that little door. You can see that. And then that pulls out. And this is supposed to just lift straight up, but I'm having a little trouble with it. But more interestingly, here's we get to see what the video can pick up. If you look under here, you can see the back side of the tweeter, which is there. And there's a black connector, which appears to have nothing on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But more interestingly than that, uh, I'm gonna have to go around to the other side to show you, is I think when they were replacing the headliner the last time, they forgot to plug it back in. So let's see if we can orient ourselves again here. So there's the speaker. I don't know if you can see the plug is missing there on the end. I mean, there's nothing plugged into it, but more revealingly, I think, is, I lost sight of it. If we look down under here, well, I can see it with my eye if I can't get it on video. There appears to be the dangling uh, plug that's supposed to go in that speaker. That I believe is the dangling plug it's supposed to be sitting into the speaker. So I gotta figure out how to pop that piece loose. It's supposed to just lift right off of the bottom of the dash there and I'll just fix this myself. But it's kind of amusing that this has apparently not been functional for quite a long time and I just never noticed it because sitting on the driver's side, everything sounded fine. <laughs> trust but verify. Every repair, trust but verify. All right, I, <laughs> I got the front of this panel off I still cannot get the second clip pulled out of there. And I've seen online where people have bent this metal grill. So I'm trying to be really gentle about it. I do have one thing I have discovered is that the clip I thought was loose was not actually the clip I'm looking for. It actually is connected to something, but this is the speaker clip. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it definitely Definitely was not hooked into the speaker, which is what my finger is tapping against. So I got to figure out how to get that clip in just using my fingertips and feel, because I don't think I'm going to be able to easily get the speaker out. But it definitely not hooked up. All right, well, using my fingers, I was able to get that snapped in. So actually there is the speaker. And now you can see I got it clipped in. I heard a positive click. So power the car back up and see if I got audio in that speaker again. All right, so I've got this turned on. Now, with the latest software update, it's really hard to get it loud when the door's open. You have to crank it up pretty high. So there's the door speaker. That's the front tweeter. Now that side was fine. 
That's that door speaker. That side was also fine. I initially discovered this while trying to chase down a crackle I thought I heard in the speaker, which might be something to look at later. And now I've got sound coming out of my upper speaker. So apparently that was just never plugged back in. And while we're at it, yep. Yep, okay. I still think it's strange that we get the black coloring on here when this is not a black interior car. All right, so some of you might be wondering, why did I go through all this? I never did get that clip loose, but luckily I was able to clip that in. So that plug actually goes straight up into the bottom of that speaker like you saw. So it's actually fairly easy to do without seeing, and it makes a really positive, loud snap sound when it goes in. Um, and then we'll just like tuck some of these wires back in. And uh, well, we're here. So here's your sunroof drainage tubes, in case you ever, these they look like plumbing actually, right? And they're like uh, copper tubes. Uh, there's your side airbag. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff going off while you're in here because it's all pretty well, you're not really anywhere near it. Um, I have a couple extra wires here because of my dash cam setup. Like this goes to my rear camera. That is actually run better than the way I originally did it because when they replaced my headliner, uh, while well, they didn't actually <laughs> plug the speaker back in, they did fix that. So um, I made that slicker than I had it. Uh, but so why did I not go to the service center? Well, the answer is real simple. Uh, service center, you have to have appointments. You have to wait for it to come, you know, for them for them to be able to do it. And then you got the drop off or you're waiting and then they're going to charge you and all that. And this took me, I don't know, for the first time doing it, it probably took me an hour just to tinker around out here, but that's okay. I kind of enjoy, oh, there's a throwback song. Good Lord. And um, so that's why. And I encourage other people to also try and fix some of these things on your own. This is not under warranty and it'd be really hard proving that it was a mistake from when the headliner was done because that was a couple years ago. I'm actually really amused that I never uh, that I never noticed it until the other day when I happened to be sitting on this side of the car. Anyway, so it's fixed. All good. Now I just got to put everything back together. Easy peasy.